Hi, I'm Dr. Sarala, ADM College for Women, Nagapatinam, Department of Mathematics. Uh, measure is nothing but the generalization of length, volume and uh, areas. So, signed measure is nothing but the generalization of measure uh, which allows the negative values also. What is signed measure? A set function nu uh, defined on the measurable space x, s is said to be a signed measure if the value of nu are extended real numbers and uh, satisfies the three conditions. The first one nu takes at most one of the values infinity comma minus infinity. The second one nu of 5 which is equal to 0. The third one nu of union over i equal to 1 to infinity e i which is equal to summation over i equal to 1 to infinity nu of e i if e i intersection e j which is equal to 5 for i not equal to j. If the left hand side is infinite, the series on the right hand side has some infinity or minus infinity. So, only variation is uh, signed measure allows the negative values also. This is the difference between the measure and signed measure. The next example one, show that if phi of e which is equal to integration over e f into d mu where integration of f into d mu is defined then phi is a signed measure. So, the proof is the first one. So, this is positive 1. So, measure is a positive 1. Integration of f plus d mu is less than infinity means it is positive or uh, integration of f minus d mu is less than infinity which implies nu takes at most one of the values infinity comma minus infinity. The second one nu of 5 which is equal to 0. So, here the set is empty. So, the measure is also 0. So, nu of 5 which is equal to 0. The third one let E i be a sequence of disjoint sets of S and for E which is belongs to S uh, let us take uh, 5 plus of E which is equal to integration of F plus d mu. Another one 5 minus of E which is equal to integration of F minus d mu. We will be said this 5 plus and 5 minus. So, by the theorem that is known theorem let x comma s comma mu be a measure space and f a non-negative measurable function. Then phi of e which is equal to integration over e f into d mu is a measure on the measurable space s comma s. In addition integration of f d mu is less than infinity then for all epsilon greater than 0 there exists delta greater than 0 such that if a belongs to s and mu of a which is less than delta then phi of a which is less than epsilon. Here f plus and f minus are meshes. So, because it is defined already that becomes phi plus e equal to integration of f plus phi minus e equal to integration of f minus. So, it is measures. So, phi of now we will be calculate what is phi of union of uh, i equal to 1 to infinity e i that is equal to phi plus union of i equal to 1 to infinity e i minus phi minus of union of i equal to 1 to infinity e i. Here uh, by uh, union as changes that become sums that is summation of i equal to 1 to infinity phi plus of e i minus summation over i equal to 1 to infinity phi minus of e i that is equal to summation is common so taken outside here. So, summation of i equal to 1 to infinity phi plus of e i minus phi minus of e i. So, this is nothing but phi of e i. So, phi of union of i equal to 1 to infinity e i is equal to summation of uh, summation over i equal to 1 to infinity phi of e i. So, from this a property is also satisfied. So, first one, second one, third one all these are satisfied. So, the given function phi which is signed measure positive set. A is a positive set with respect to the signed measure nu 
on x comma s if a belongs to s and nu of e is greater than 0 for all for each measurable sets e of e so all positive all positive measures will be find uh, says that becomes positive set so negative set otherwise it becomes negative set positive otherwise it is negative a is a negative set with respect to nu if it is a positive set with respect to minus nu null set so a yeah, set is null set with respect to nu or nu minus null set uh, if it is both positive a negative set with respect to new. The next one, uh, theorem 1, accountably union of sets positive with respect to a signed measure new is positive set. So, what is mean signed measure? There is three condition satisfied. First one, all is positive. Neg second one, uh, new of 5 which is equal to 0. Third one, uh, union of i equal to 1 to infinity nu of ai which is equal to summation of nu that is the three conditions now we will be satisfied the three conditions here here <coughs> the next one first proof let a and b the sequence of positive sets we will take by the theorem this is known theorem also let ai be a sequence in a ring r then there is a sequence bi of disjoint sets of r so Z B I is the subset of A I for each I and union over I equal to 1 T and A I equal to union of I equal to 1 T and B I for each N. So, we will be set A I equal to B I. So, that union of I equal to 1 T infinity A I equal to union of I equal to 1 T infinity B I. So, the next union of n equal to 1 to infinity a n which is equal to union of n equal to 1 to infinity b n where the set b n is contained in s and b n is contained in a is a subset of a n and b uh, n intersection b m equal to phi this is uh, this means b n and b m is disjoint sets if n is not equal to m. Let us take E. E is one of the measure space which is subset of union of n equal to 1 to infinity E n. The next E which is equal to union of n equal to 1 to infinity E intersection B n. So that is nu of E which is equal to now we will be take measure assigned measure on both side in the stretch. We will take nu of E which is equal to summation of n equal to 1 to infinity nu of e intersection b n. So, nu of e is greater than or equal to 0 as e intersection b n is a positive set for each n. So, that union of n equal to 1 to infinity a n is a positive set. So, nu of e is greater than 0 because um, already you take nu of e equal to summation of n equal to 1 to infinity nu of e intersection b n e is the measure space b n is the negative space summation is uh, intersection um, e intersection b n so negative omitted here only the positive remaining there so summation of n equal to 1 to infinity uh, nu of e intersection b n is a positive set so, E intersection B n is a positive set for each n. So, the whole union n equal to 1 to infinity a n is a positive set. This is one of the corollary accountable union of negative or null set is a negative set or null set. This is one of the theorem 2. Let nu is the signed measure on s comma s. Let E belongs to s and nu of E is greater than 0. Then there exists A, a set positive with respect to nu so that A contained in E and nu of A is greater than 0. The proof is given there that is if E contained no sets of negative nu measure then E is positive set and suppose E equal to E sorry A equal to E the proof is trivial one. Another one otherwise there exists n belongs to n so that there exists b belongs to s b is contained in e and nu of b is less than minus 1 by n so first we will take n1 
Let us take n one be the smallest integer and e one the corresponding uh, measure that becomes e one the subset of e with nu of b one which is less than minus one by n one. Next next uh, let n k n k be the smallest positive integer. So, so there is a measurable subset e k. Of e minus union of i equal to one to k minus one e i, with nu of e k is less than minus one by n power k. From this construction, that is, this is the ascending order. N one is less than or equal to n two is less than and so on. And we have the corresponding sequences e i of the disjoint subsets of e. So from this process, the continuing process stops up to the m. Then c, which is equal to e minus union of i equal to one to m e i. Then c is a positive set. A nu of c is greater than zero. For nu of c, which is equal to zero, implies nu of e, which is equal to summation of i equal to one to m nu of e i, which is less than zero. <coughs> So it is a desired set. Uh, from the first step, c equal to e minus union of i equal to one to m e i. Here, from from this, we will be say that all these are positive set. Suppose nu of uh, c equal to zero, then nu of e which is equal to sorry nu of e which is less than zero. From this, we will be say that c is a uh, negative set. So in the process does not stop. Again, it will be continuing the process. A which is equal to e minus union of k equal to one to infinity e k another one. Uh, instead of c, we will be put a here. Uh, we wish to show that a is a positive set now. So nu of a which is equal to that is a which is equal to e minus union of e k. It is given. So now uh, we will applying the sign to measure here. Nu of a which is equal to nu of e minus nu of union of k equal to one to infinity e k. So the next step, nu of e, uh, nu of e is uh, taken the right hand side. So we will get that is nu of e which is equal to nu of a minus nu of union of k equal to one to infinity e k. So nu cannot take both the values infinity comma minus infinity. So nu of e is greater than zero. So next step nu of union of k equal to one to infinity e k that is equal to summation of k equal to one to infinity nu of e k. This is less than zero. So the right hand side of one is also finite one. So Summation of k equal to one to infinity nu of e k is greater than infinity. So e greater than minus infinity. So hence summation of k equal to one to infinity one by n power k is less than infinity. So in particular, limit k tends to infinity n k which is equal to infinity for k greater than one and k is greater than k naught. So let us take b is contained in S. And we contained in A also, and then K is greater than K naught. Then B is contained is a subset of E minus union of I equal to one to K E I. So that from this we will be say that nu of B is greater than or equal to minus one by n power K minus one. So by the definition of n K already given beginning stage uh, by two. Uh, n k is greater than k naught, and let k is tends to infinity. Then nu of b is greater than or equal to zero. From this um, strip, we will be say that a is positive set. Nu of b is what? Nu of b is greater than or equal to minus one by n k minus one. Uh, so from this, we will be say that a is a positive set. So nu of a, which is equal to zero, implies nu of e is less than zero. So nu of a is greater than zero means it is a positive set. So next theorem on decomposition theorem, the statement it becomes uh, let nu of nu be a signed measure on S comma S. 
then there exists a positive set A and a negative set B such that A union B equal to X and A intersection B equal to 5. That means A and B are disjoint sets. The pair A comma B is said to be on decomposition of X with respect to nu. It is unique to the extent that if A1, B1 and A2, B2 are on decomposition of X with respect to nu, then A1 symmetric difference A2 is a nu null set. Suppose uh, for proving this, we will be take nu is less than infinity on S. So, otherwise it will be considered minus nu. Nu uh, nothing but the signed measure. So, for proving we will be take lambda. Lambda let us take lambda equal to supremum of nu of C. C is a positive set. So, supremum means it is a positive one. So, lambda is greater than or equal to 0. So, next let a i be a sequence of positive sets such that lambda equal to limit of nu of a i. So, by the theorem uh, just we will see uh, countable union of sets positive with respect to your signed measure nu is a positive set. This implies a equal to union of i equal to 1 to infinity a is a positive set. So, from the definition of lambda, what is lambda? Lambda is nothing but supremum of nu of c, c is a positive set. That is lambda. So, by the definition of lambda, lambda is greater than or equal to nu of a. So, because a is a positive set, the measure which is greater than um, lambda having the supremum point, so lambda greater than or equal to uh, nu of a, nu of a. That is the equation 1. And then next a minus a i, next step we will take a minus a i which is contained in, definitely contained in a, a minus a i definitely contained in a. So, hence it is a positive set because a is a positive set. So, a minus a i is also positive set. So, here we will take the signed measure applying on both sides, we get the result nu of a i equal to nu of a i plus nu of a minus a i. This is greater than nu of a i. So, nu of a which is greater than or equal to limit of a nu of a i that is nothing but by the one by the definition of lambda uh, that is equal to lambda that is equation 2. So, nu of a which is equal to lambda from the first equation and the second equation we will be find out nu of a equal to lambda. The value lambda is a positive set we will take. So, now we will be find out the lambda is a positive set. Let b which is equal to c a. We will take this b equal to complement of a. If a b contains a set d which is positive nu measure that is nu of d is lies between 0 and infinity. So, by the theorem let nu be a signed measure on x comma s. Let E belongs to S and nu of E is greater than 0. Then there exists A is at positive with respect to nu such that A is contained in E and nu of A is greater than 0. So, D contains a positive set E such that nu of E is lies between 0 and infinity. So, uh, nu of a union e, e which is equal to a is a positive set and b is also positive set. So, nu of a union e which is equal to nu of a plus nu of e which is also greater than lambda. So, which contradicts the definition of lambda. Lambda is nothing but the supremum value of the positive set. So, here we will get nu of a union e is greater than lambda. This is a contradiction from the first step. So, nu of d is less than 0 and b is a negative set a and b forms a horn decomposition. So, we will prove a is positive, b is negative. So, a and b form a horn decomposition. Since a1 minus a2 equal to a1 intersection b2 Hence, a positive and negative sets. So, the similar values that is a2 minus a1 is an L set and 
then a1 symmetric difference a2 is also the null set.